Daniel Levy always had the love of the big boss. According to those who saw his formative business days firsthand on the London Stock Exchange, a natural ability to recognize and strike the best deal, even against the odds, was glaring. It made the future Tottenham chairman an irresistible, positive force for any employer. So even if the North Londoners are in crisis, again, for the financial powerbroker behind Levy running the club, Joe Lewis, to relieve him of his duties would be a massive step in a totally different direction. It isn't going to happen. Lewis has had loads of opportunities to do that over the years of roller coaster highs and lows in N17. But Levy and Lewis have worked together far longer than their 22 years at the Tottenham helm. They are a formidable, lifelong money-making partnership. With sparkling new stadium finally secured and the club prospering off the pitch, COVID damage excluded, being only top four contenders on it has done nothing to diminish Levy's standing with his billionaire pal. Crikey! Even when the club's superstar leader Harry Kane wanted to leave in the summer of 2021 and publicly stated it, it failed to make a dent. Indeed, the fact that Kane was held and compelled to stay against his wishes, three years left on his contract made the deal a non-starter, was considered a real coup for football's toughest chairman. This time, though, the state of play in is no longer in Levy's control. In fact, it seems to be spiraling at quite a pace. The manager has left earlier than expected. Conte was not sacked at the start of the week. He walked, by mutual consent. Then the club's director of football, Fabio Paradici, responsible for finding a successor has a 30-month ban from working in Italian football extended worldwide by FIFA. Tottenham, in a statement, claimed they were unaware that such a punishment was about to happen, in an attempt to justify why 24 hours earlier he had been the face of a video talking to the fans about the future and to stick with them in the race for the top four. Now, of course, they did not know the exact timing of when FIFA might uphold the sanctions but they were aware of the potential danger looming large. It had been on the football agenda for ages. Suddenly, Tottenham look really stupid. Rudderless, in a footballing sense. And Levy, too. Kane, meanwhile, with a tad over a year left on his contract waits to see what unravels, with Manchester United understood to be keen on striking a deal with Spurs before the season even ends. This time, however, he holds the power. Whatever bids come in this summer for the England skipper will not be on the table a year later. It's now or never. To cash in or not to cash in £100 million at stake. Can Spurs afford to ignore that sort of sum? Of course not. That is serious money for a player in his 30s, soon to become a free agent. And Levy is somebody who always gets the best deal for the firm, after all. But far more preferable. Given the issues of having no manager and nobody to find a new one, allied to an utterly irate faithful, would be for Kane to stay and sign a new deal. That may be Levy's one ace left. If he has the support of the club and country's greatest all-time goalscorer, then this latest crater-like crisis can gradually be repaired. Ruthless in front of goal. How ruthless Kane is when it comes to the individual who blocked his dream move to Manchester City less than two years ago will be fascinating to see. Hard to imagine Levy forgiving or forgetting something similar. He better hope the lethal hitman is such a family man that he doesn't want to uproot his partner and their young children. 
Over to you, Harry.